Hey, my tea babies. How you doing? How's everybody doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? And today we're doing something a little off the beaten path. But we're going to run right into it because that's the kind of person I am. I think outside the box. So we're going to do this and also. This kind of hits a little home for me because I'm a very diehard fan of this person. So, um, I'm going to use my platform to talk about it because I like her. And um, I'm also from Louisiana, myself. So, yeah, I think somebody might know who I'm, who I'm about to talk about. And if you're not a fan of her, then jump off this channel. Nobody's forcing you to watch my channel. Nobody's forcing you to listen to this video. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, I will not entertain any hate comments. Do not put any hate comments on my page because I will not draw attention to it. Whatsoever. I do not care. It is your opinion. And I can state mine. So, here we go. Only love here. Yeah. Big Mama's family is all about love. So anyway, let's get into it. We are going to be talking about, yes, the infamous Britney Spears. Oh, yes. Talk about Britney Spears. It's been in the media for a while now. I'm sure you heard about it yourself. So it's not surprising to know what's going on. It's been going on for quite some time. Um, just a lot of us did not know how uh, horrible this stuff is going for Britney. Um, she's currently fighting to have her dad removed from her conservatorship. Which, in my opinion, and I'm sure in a lot of other people's opinion, should have been done a long time ago. But uh, according to court records, she did not know she was able to do this herself. She did not know. That's how captivated these people kept her. How captive, I'm sorry. How captive they kept her. Like a freaking prisoner in her own home. Can you imagine that? You're a freaking pop star that makes millions of dollars. And your dad and your lawyer and the people that are supposed to be there for you on your team are holding you captive, making you work for them when really it's the other way around. They're working for you. But it's like you're working for them because you're paying them. You're still paying these people. And you're paying them right now to control your life. These people around her are controlling her life. But anyway, on June 23rd, 2021, she officially asked the court to end her conservatorship in her most public statement to date today. She said, and I quote, It's my wish and my dream for all of this to end. The conservatorship. I just want my life back. Now for somebody to say that, that, that should tell you right there. Why is she saying she wants her life back? If she's been living her life all this time. If she hasn't had any problems, you know, like the claims say, why is she basically almost begging the court to end this conservatorship so she can take her life back? Because she's not been able to live her life. She can't go probably to the mall, out to get coffee, gas in her car without be okay from her dad like she's a little girl again. This is a grown woman with two kids that I don't think is in her custody actually currently right now. Um, she hasn't controlled her life and her money for 13 years. 13 years! This woman's been working her whole life and she hasn't been able to have control over her money in 13 years? Are you kidding me? Who would allow somebody to take control of their life and their money? Brittany worked hard for her money. 
Seriously. 13 years. That that's that's incredible. Like I said, I'm not just speaking from someone that has opinions. Um I mean, I would be saying this possibly if it was just anybody. That's insane. Anybody that don't have control of their own money that you've earned, you worked hard for, for 13 years. These people should be in jail. That's some kind of abuse. That's got to be some kind of abuse. Especially from family members. These are not just strangers. These are not strangers. That's what makes it even worse for Brittany. These are not strangers. These are her family members. These are her friends. People that she trusted to take care of her, have her back, you know, lead her in the right direction when she needed, you know, leading, when she needed it. And no. No, everybody on her team either abuse her or drop the ball. Because if you weren't a part of this, your hands are still bloody. I'm sorry. Your hands are still bloody because you could have spoke up. You could have done something. You could have done something. If Brittany's your friend, Brittany's your, your family, oh, I love Brittany, but I didn't know what to do. That's bull crap and you know it. You could have done something. But like I said, I'm not just speaking from someone with opinions. I'm a diehard. I am a diehard Britney fan. I've always been a Britney fan since I was a little girl, and it hurts me to see this woman that has worked her whole life since she was a little girl, and basically working for her parents, because she had stated she wanted to step away sooner than she did, but they made her work. They made her go on tour. And the thing that really gets me the most, not just the 13 years, the 13 years really shocked me because I really didn't know it was that long that these people had this control over her. It was the fact that these people, mainly her father, that made this woman get an IUD put, placed inside her, her body against her will is what she said it's what she said that was against her will that was not her choice but they told her she needed to because they didn't want her to have any more children and Brittany has stated she wanted she wants more kids she wants to get married to her boyfriend she wants to live a life away from the spotlight for a while and she wants to have a baby she don't want to have an IUD she can't believe that they made her do this but she said she had no choice. No choice. Who takes that kind of decision from a woman? That right there is unbelievable. I mean, the 13 years and taking her money, control of her money, her assets, her properties and things like that, that's really like crazy too. Because all that's Britney's. You work, like she stated in court as well. These people need to realize they work for me. And that is true. And I've heard the recordings of Britney in court. Britney sound, sounds clear-headed as all hell to me. Excuse my language. She does. She sounds like she is cleared. She is not nuts. And really, what is clarified as nuts nowadays? Like, really? Don't we all have somebody in our family that's considered nuts? We don't hide them. We put them out on display. You you still love that person no matter what. We don't send them off to freaking uh, some kind of freaking center because they're considered crazy. No. No. Brittany's not crazy. Brittany's just finally fed up and she's standing up and they're probably all like, oh gosh, who do we need to pay off now to shut her up so this can continue? 
because if Brittany gets away with this, they're all screwed. Everyone last one of them. Because I feel Brittany, since she is clear as a bell up here, and she's finally standing up for herself, A number one, if this is granted, which I truly believe in my heart and my soul, the Lord will help her through this, she will be granted what she needs to, to do away with this whole sense conservatorship. I keep wanting to call it censorship. Conservatorship. Do away with that. She don't need that. That's for somebody that can't make their own decisions. Uh, they they uh, can't work. She's been working. How is it she can't make her own decisions but she's able to work? She's able to make money for them. She's able to be out there working. I mean, no sense, does it? No. It's about that's for people that's in, incapable of taking care of themselves. If she was incapable of taking care of herself, how is it that she's out there all the time working? She's out there performing all the time, doing choreography, going on tours. That don't sound like somebody that can't take care of themselves to me. That don't sound like that. But um, getting back to what she stated in court, she also said, I truly believe this conservatorship is abusive. So for her to even say that out loud is screaming it to you. Do y'all not get that this is not right? Something's wrong with this. Something's not right. This uh, conservatorship was granted in Los Angeles Superior Court in 2008. After Brittany had had several public mental breakdowns, the arrangement put her estate, her money, and some personal assets under the control of her father and her lawyer. Mm hmm. In 2020, it was extended four times. They extended this four times. Currently, this has fueled the Free Britney movement. And of course, I, I guess you can say that I'm a part of the Free Britney movement because I believe she has the right to have her business, her business have her business be her business uh, her money her assets her, her her home everything that she owns should be under her control is hers she earned it nobody else is hers in the late 2000s Brittany had several highly publicized mental breakdowns we all know we all saw them she had her son Sean on her lap you know and I was trapped in a car seat. We all saw that. Paparazzi's always there to show up to see all that. She also shaved her head. That was public. And she was seen hitting a photographer's car with an umbrella. And in 2008, she made several trips to rehab. It was committed two times. Now, she has made statements, though, as well, that her father had made her go to these rehabs of his choosing not hers, and had her constantly evaluated numerous times every day. Even when she was in her home, he would have her numerous times evaluated. And they would not find anything because Brittany's not crazy. She's not nuts. She's fine. But they're trying to find something to use it against her so they can keep the control that they have over her. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to keep this control going. And it's, it's not working. It's coming to a head. You had 13 years. You shouldn't have had it that long. You rotten, evil people. That don't know the meaning of family and friendship. Because you don't do that to people you so call love. And you'll sit back and say, I love Brittany. I care about Britney. Everything I did for Britney was in the best of Britney. No, it wasn't. No. No. It's just a shame to see young talent 
Because Brittany ain't old. Brittany is not old. I think after she has a few years to settle down and actually get her life back, actually get it back, everything back in her control and kick all these people to the curb, knock them off, sign them off, stop giving them checks too. I, I'd sign them off completely. No, I'd give them money either. I don't care if that's family. They didn't care about you being family when you needed them. They just threw you away, put you in a rehab, tried to hook you up with doctors and, and put you on drugs and made you feel like you were drunk. She said that in court. They were putting her on lithium that she wasn't even supposed to be on. She said that. I, I've never been on this medication before. And yes, it made me feel drunk. I felt drunk. It, that that's just it's insane that your father would agree and allow these people to do this under his supervision him or your lawyer you need to fire everybody start from scratch Brittany fire everybody down to the bottom and the first thing I thought when I heard about this was Where's your mama? That's what I thought. Where is your mama, Brittany? Where is Ben? Where is your mama? Didn't hear. Didn't hear where her mama was. I guess she was a part of this. Because like I said, even if you ain't a part of this conservatorship, even if you didn't have your hand in the bucket with the money, even if you weren't cashing checks, even if you weren't taking her stuff, you could have put a stop to it, and you didn't. So you're just as guilty as the dad and the lawyer and anybody else that was taking from Brittany. Because that's all they were doing, was taking. She was out there working herself to the bone, and all they did was take. Take and take and take and take and take and take and take. And, take. and now that she's speaking up, Everybody is clutching their pearls. Oh no, Brittany's talking up. Oh no, who gave her a phone? Who gave her a phone? Because the first time she contacted the judge, I think they said it was by phone, by somebody else's cell phone. She contacted the judge, and they probably was all scattering like rats. Who gave Brittany a phone? Who the hell let it slip up? How did she get a phone? She couldn't even see her boyfriend. They were saying too. She couldn't see her boyfriend. She said all she wanted to do was ride in her boyfriend's car. Are you kidding me? Simple everyday things that we take for granted, Brittany is starving for. Simple things. Everyday things. And it's been taken away from her. It, it's crazy. That's all I have to say about this. This is very unsettling. And I'm sure this is not the first time this has happened to a celebrity. I've, uh, of course not. I know that. But like I said, I'm a diehard Britney Spears fan. So I just, I've been hearing about this stuff lately. And it, I, it just touched my heart. I guess because she's a fellow Louisianian too. I've been following her career for a very long time like I said since I was a little girl I had the Britney Spears dolls you know I would have my parents buy me the Britney Spears CDs every time a new one would come out I mean I've never been to a concert no I've never been to a Britney Spears concert but I watched them you know when they would come out on HBO and stuff like that I would watch them and I love to see her perform I really do I love to see Britney perform and I think after she has some time to settle down and get her life back and you know get that IUD taken out because I know she will when she has that time to do it take her life back and decide it like you know what I can get this taken out I'd like to have this this isn't you know implanted in me like to where you can't get it out I could take this out on my own she'll get it taken out she'll have her baby she wants she'll get her boys back 
Maybe she'll marry her boyfriend. Maybe she'll move from where she's at. I mean, I would recommend she does. I don't know how attached she is to her house. But I would sell it. And I would move. And I wouldn't let any of my family know where I'm at. I mean, paparazzi might find out. I mean, it was sketchy bastards. But anyway, excuse my language, sorry. But they are, paparazzi is like ruthless freaking people. They do not care. They will find out anything. They will go through any which way to find out stuff. Pers more personal, the better, too. They don't care. I've seen it. They don't care. But anyway, once she gets all that and has some time to herself, a few years, I think she'll give herself a few years. She'll come back on her own because it'll be on her own terms. Nobody will be telling her she has to. It will be because she wants to. She'll miss her fans. And she'll probably put up a residency again over there in Las Vegas. I don't think I don't think she's gonna tour. I don't think she wants to do that anymore. But I see her doing, you know, some shows. And I know a lot of people's like, well, she'll probably be doing all the old stuff. No, very I think Britney's very creative. I see her wanting to do new music in the future because she's gonna have a lot of downtime to herself. And I see her even trying to write. She's gonna be writing her own music. I do see that coming out of her because she's very creative when people let her do it herself. She can do it if they leave her alone. People need to just leave her alone. So, yeah, this is a very sad situation happening with her. I hope everything turns out for the best. I hope everything goes great for you, Brittany. I know you're probably not going to see this, but I'm talking like I'm talking to you, Brittany, because I love you, Brittany. I love everything you've done. All your your musical talents is uncanny. You will forever be a legend, Brittany Spears. You will be always a legend and dear to my heart. A true Louisianian sister to me in so many ways, I'm saying, in the heart, in my mind. And everything so yeah i'm in this right here so don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that bell so you can get notified every time i upload new videos and follow me on all my social medias they'll be right there at the top and i will be back with more videos bye